Hello everyone, it's Exo Man. I want to talk to you today about rhomboid pain. You are watching this video likely because you suffer from rhomboid pain. Um, and I'm going to help you. And I'm going to help you right now. This is, this is not a squeeze page. This is not an advertisement. This is not a way to get you to another page to buy something. I'm not selling anything. I want to help you because pain sucks. I've had a lot of this. I've had a lot of pain in my life. And a rhomboid pain was just one of those nagging extra little pains that I learned to completely obliterate with the simple maneuver. I call it the exo maneuver because I'm exo man. And I thought of it um, in literally seconds, okay? But there's a couple of things I have to tell you first. One is, and most importantly, people keep saying, oh, he's a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm not professing any medical experience or profession. I'm not a physical therapist. I'm none of those things, okay? I'm just a guy who suffered from this pain and I figured it out. The thing the thing that struck me about this, these, it, a lot of people, people who know what it is, they say it's a spasm in the rhomboid muscles, the majoris and the minor, whatever. There's basically two overlapping muscles that connect your scapula to your spine and help you, I guess, contract your, your shoulders. Okay, what struck me about this recurring pain, and I, I don't want to make it sound like it's something that had happened to me all the time. It's just, but it, it was it was too frequent. What struck me about it is that it would happen. It would happen after after some sort of physical exertion, not during. Like I, I explained in the prior video that I did um, about this, that I would be working with my chain, so very large chainsaw. And maybe the next day, some just slight movement would precipitate it. Okay, that struck me is to how it was caused by a minor movement. Okay, and that made me think there's got to be some minor movement that can undo it if a minor movement did it. And if it's a spasm, I can release that. It's some, if it's some sort of tension or not. I can, I can, there's got to be, an, it, it was caused by just a slight movement. There's got to be some movement to undo it. It was just a, an intuitive thing that, that came about. But the reason I'm doing this as a, as a second video on this subject, reason being is um, there were so many people who were so appreciative of the first video and they left a lot of very, very, very heartfelt appreciative comments which I really appreciate. I'm really glad. I'm just glad that that these people found relief, you know, cuz we're all we're all we're all the same. We're all it's we're all one. We're all together and we don't like we don't like to see each other in pain, okay? So we so we help each other. So the problem is only 18 or so thousand views. I'm thinking there's millions. There's got to be millions of people out there suffering like that from this and uh I want them to see this. I want them to know. So help spread this information if, if you any way you can. Um, so all right. So that's it. I'm I'm not a doctor. I'm not a physical therapist. I'm just a guy who's had this pain and I figured it out. It's simple. I don't want to sell it to you. I want to show it to you. Okay. It's called the Exo Maneuver, and you're not going to believe it. But if you <laughs> trust me, it works. And if you don't want to trust me, watch the other video I did and read the comments or just read the comments and you'll see all these people who thought, no, this isn't going to work. There's no way. Who did it and they were like in disbelief that it that it worked. Okay. So if you're having this problem, try this. It's going to seem too simple. Okay. I want you to take your arms, raise your shoulders, Put your hands forward in fists, and then I want you to gently jerk your, your elbows back, and then forward, and then punch. Back, elbows, punch. Back, punch. Now, I want you to get into a little bit of rhythm. Now, some people say, well, how many times? I don't know. Just do it 10 times or so, okay? So you take your arms, put your elbows kind of out, right? You don't have to do it ex in any exact sort of way, but I find that if I lift my elbows, it puts those rhomboids in a position where this is going to work. Lift your elbows, your shoulders, what have you, and then just sort of punch and back, get back and forth, 
okay, and get to where things are jerking around back there. Do it a little lower, do it a little higher. Just do that a few times till you feel the shoulder blades just kind of punching together like, like, you're, like you're almost trying to knock your elbows together. But you want to kind of do it, might sound counterintuitive, but you kind of want to do it in a jerky fashion, not, don't do this. I want you to kind of pound back there like you get to that extent and you, your elbows bounce. Okay, and then forward all the way. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, just like that. Let's see what that looks like. Now, if you're like these hundred or so other people that commented on the last video, you're gonna find instant relief, okay? That's pretty much it. That's the exo maneuver. I don't have rhomboid pain anymore. Ever. If it starts, I stop it instantaneously. Okay? I hope you have a pain-free day. Thank you for watching. Take care.